Hello friends, here in this video, we will start with a new chapter in fluid mechanics and the name of the chapter is Hydrostatic Forces on Surfaces. This is a new chapter in fluid mechanics, Hydrostatic Forces on Surfaces. See, hydrostatic means the fluid will be at rest. It means there would not be any fluid motion. So, in hydrostatic forces, hydrostatic forces means force exerted by fluid at rest this is the most simple definition of hydrostatic forces that it will be the force exerted by fluid at rest the example if i can give you all it is like a swimming pool if we have a swimming pool in that the water is still and if we insert or we put any object in that swimming pool then the pressure exerted by the water in the swimming pool on that body it would be called as hydrostatic force so here i can give the example like if we have a tank and that tank is filled with water we can take any fluid but here i am assuming that it is water so if a tank contains water and inside that we are inserting any object or I'll call it as a body. So the force exerted by water on this body, these forces, it would be called as the hydrostatic force. So as it is very much clear from the diagram that for hydrostatic force, the fluid must be still. So here I will say that for hydrostatic forces, fluid must be still or you can say at rest the fluid should not move next weight of the fluid will act on the body so now it is very much clear that when we are studying hydrostatic forces for that we have to take a still fluid which does not move and in that we would be inserting or putting any object and the force exerted by that fluid on the object would be called as hydrostatic force and hydrostatic force also includes the weight of the liquid which would be acting on the surface so in this video we have seen the introduction to hydrostatic forces on surfaces